welcome back to the Upper Sandusky Community Library's Facebook page and another episode of Art History Lessons with Lisa. Today we're doing Activity 7. Now, if you haven't been to the library and picked up your art kit yet, please do so. You can check out the supplies and the kit, and then for the next few weeks, we will be doing lessons on Pablo Picasso. So if this is your first time here, please make sure that you've picked up your pack at the library and then come back to this Facebook page under videos and you can find the introduction and the other activities that you missed. Please make sure that you read the selection and watch the videos before you start any of the activities so that you know why you're doing what you're doing. Today's activity is a little different. We're going to look at this painting by Picasso and then we are going to watch a short video in 3D about it and at the end you're going to answer these questions. I'll go over them. What colors do you see? Are they warm, cold, bright, muted? How do they make you feel? What types of lines and shapes do you see? Organic, geometric? What emotions do you think they convey? Choose a principle of art, unity, repetition, rhythm, variety, balance, proportion, emphasis, movement that you see in the painting and describe where it is located and how it is used in the painting. Taking into consideration historical content and what was happening in the world, what kind of event do you think this painting is trying to convey? Now it's important to read these first and then watch the video because that way you can see what you're looking for in the video. And of course, if you don't know about the principles of art, please Google them and then that way you'll know what you're looking for. This is the painting Guernica by Pablo Picasso. So we're going to take a look at this in 3D animation. So I'm going to have you pause this video right after you highlight this link below, open a new tab and copy and paste it into your browser so that you can go and watch the video on YouTube. And then when you're finished, you can come back to this and you can finish the activity. After watching the video, take some time to fill out the worksheet, and then I'm going to have you read something too. You should pause here so that you can look at the painting and have time to fill out the worksheet. You can pause here and read this excerpt from Wikipedia that I pulled off the internet for Guernica, and um, this will give you a little bit more information maybe to fill out your worksheet. This frame may be a little hard to read since I copied and pasted it. So if you'd like to open up another tab, pause this video and go to Wikipedia and search for Guernica, then you can read it a little bit more clear. And there's a whole bunch more information on that page also. So now if you've got your worksheet all filled out, um, I'm going to put up what the author wrote on this worksheet. Now remember that art is subjective. There's a lot of different opinions about art. Some of the facts are the facts. We know that he did paint this picture in response to some devastating attack on the, on the town of Guernica. But other than that, a lot of the things in a painting can be subjective. So if you don't have exactly what she wrote as the author, that's fine. If you would enjoy doing a Zoom session with me on the next time we do an artist with this page, let me know down in the comments because I think this is something that could be discussed, but it's hard to do on just a, a video. So if you'd like to do a Zoom session next time, we can set that up for our next session. So here are the answer keys from the author. You can pause for each one so that you can read them. I had to split them up so you could actually read them since I took a picture of them to do this. And then when you're finished, you can see how yours compares to hers. And remember, when you get done, post it on Instagram, USCL Picasso, so that I can find them 
and we will post some on Facebook. And when you get done with things, you can also bring them into the library and we will display them there. Remember to come to the library if you haven't got your kit yet and you can start this from the beginning. We post every Friday at four o'clock. And if you like these videos, you can pop on over to my YouTube channel, Property of Lisa, for more fun videos. Please subscribe when you're there too. Thanks, I'd appreciate it. See you next time.